Uh, so I welcome once again to this lesson. Uh, we are still on sampling and estimation, <coughs> but today we are going to talk about our uh, confidence interval. Uh, confidence interval for mean and variance. For mean, uh, mu, and uh, variance sigma squared non for mean and variance non so uh, if x uh, is the mean if x bar is the mean if x bar is the mean of a random sample of size n of a random sample of size n taken from a normal population with taken from a normal population with uh, with known variance sigma squared uh, with known uh, variance which is sigma uh, squared then the confidence interval for mean then uh, the confidence interval uh, for mean uh, mu <coughs> is given by uh, x bar plus or minus uh, z cow times sigma over uh, root of n that's the formula so for the lower limit we are going to use x bar plus so for the lower limit is x bar minus z cow uh, sigma over root of n then up to upper limit which is x bar uh, plus z cow uh, sigma over root of n so uh, the confidence interval will be written like coordinates so in short we are going to calculate the lower limit first and we are going to calculate the upper limit then we will write it in the form of uh, coordinates like this right so for the confidence interval this part z cow will be looking at our tables well, since it's normal distribution Let's say you are testing at 5% uh, level. So it will be, uh, we'll divide the 5% into two parts. So here we'll be using 2.5%. Then we'll be also using, for confidence interval, we'll divide the percentage into two equal parts. So this will be 2%, 2.5%. 2 so on, from our tables, we are going to say, 100 minus 2.5 which is 97.5 so in short we are going to look at a 0 0.975 so also we are going to look at 0 0.975 so that will be 0 0.9 under 7 a difference of 5 that's how we are going to look uh, from our tables so for example 95 percent confidence interval it will be 1.96 from your tables 1.96 so in short you are going to substitute 1.96 from on your formula uh, if it's 95 percent confidence interval if we are using 90 percent confidence interval uh 90 percent confidence interval you are going to use here uh five percent uh then also here uh, it will be uh five percent so from your table 
you look at a 0.95, that will be your 90% confidence interval because you are dividing the uh, normal distribution into two parts, the first half and the second half. The first half on the negative side, the second half on the positive side. Right, so this is how we look at our tables. <coughs> So now we want to calculate the confidence interval example. <coughs> Let's have an example. Example of 25, example number one. A random sample of 25 is taken from a population, is taken from a population, is taken from a population. The sample is found to have a mean. The sample is found to have a mean to have a mean of eighty five and a standard deviation of eighty five and a standard deviation. And a standard deviation of four centimeter of uh, four centimeter. Find ninety five percent confidence interval for the mean. Find ninety five percent confidence interval uh, for the mean of the distribution for the mean of the distribution for the mean of the distribution uh, correct to one decimal place right so in this case uh, we are given a sample size n which is 25 then we are given our x bar our mean to be 85 then we are also given our standard deviation to be uh, 4. That's the information that we have in this case. So at 95% uh, confidence interval, we are going to use z cow as, remember 95% we said uh, we use 2.5%. So 100 minus, minus 97 minus 2.5 percent it will be 97.5 percent so we are going to look at 0 0.975 therefore our z cow is given by so 0 0.975 it will be 1.96 uh, so from our tables we use, uh, we use 0 1.96 so from our formula we say to we'll begin by calculating uh, the lower limit so for the lower limit, uh, here, here we are going to calculate upper uh, limit, right? So for lower limit, we said x bar minus z cow uh, standard deviation over root of n, which is equal to our x bar that's 85 minus z cow we are using 1.96 times standard deviation which is 4 divided by root of n which is root 25 then this will give us if we punch into our calculator the lower value will be i will say 85 minus uh, 1.96 times 4 divided by 5, 4 over 
Uh, 83.4 <coughs> 83.4 right so for the upper limit we are going to use x bar plus z cow uh, standard deviation over root of m which is 85 plus 1.96 uh, times 4 over root 25 which is 85 plus 1.85 plus 1.96 times 4 divided by 5 4 divided by 5 that would be 86.6 uh, which is 86.6 therefore our confidence interval is written in the form 83.4 to 86.8 we write it like coordinates, but this is this represents the lower limit and the upper limit. Uh, sorry, it's 86.6, not 8. Right. So this is how we find our confidence interval. So uh, this is how we calculate our confidence interval. Let me just give you a question uh, for practice. Let me give you a question for practice. Just to follow the same uh, steps. A sample of size 10 is taken. A sample of size 10 is taken. Is taken from a normal population. From a normal uh, population. from a normal population with standard deviation with a standard deviation 5 uh, standard deviation 5 uh, the simple mean is the simple mean is uh, 178.2 178.2 uh, find 98% confidence interval find 98% percent, percent confidence interval Ninety-eight percent confidence interval for the mean of the distribution for the mean of the uh, distribution that's uh, when uh, giving your answer correct to one decimal place giving your answer correct to one decimal place right uh, try to attempt this question uh, if you are done uh, this solution the solution to this answer to this question you must get 174.5 up to uh, 181.9 181.9 so remember we are using 98 percent confidence interval right thank you for watching this video uh, next in our next lesson we are going to talk about hypothesis testing